Okay, I've already done a video about using placeholder images in websites. Now I want to do a video about placeholders through Ajax. Sometimes you're building a website, you're using Ajax, you're going to be fetching images, but you don't have any content yet. Maybe the server side hasn't been developed yet, maybe the API is still under development, um, but you need to get some data back to test and make sure that your site's working, that you're able to download and display images. So I've got a little example here, and I'm going to use the Pixum website. So HTTPS Pixum.photos, great website. Uh, you can watch the other video about placeholder images for a website. I'll put a link in the comments about that. I want to just, to test this, run it through Node on the command line. So I'm going to call fetch, get the response back, convert it to JSON, get the data. The data is going to be an array. And I'm going to check the length of the array to see how many objects I get back. And I'm going to write out the very first one so I can see what are the contents inside of this thing. Now, to do this on the command line, Node does not have a fetch command built into it. So there is a Node module called Node Fetch that we will need to be able to run this. So we'll say npm install and we want Node Fetch. There we go. So that's going to download node fetch. It's going to add it into, into here. Um, node package.json file. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, I'm not worried about that. Node modules, they're in here. And there's node fetch and its dependencies. They've been added. Great. Okay, so we created the package lock. I'm not concerned about that. I'm just using it for this file for this test. All right, let's clear this out. And we're going to run my Pixum script again. There we go. Here's the length. Data.length is 998. So there's 998 of objects like this. Every one of them is giving us a format, telling if it's JPEG, PNG, or whatever. A width and a height of the actual image. The file name for the image. An ID. So 0 through 997 are the IDs available for these images. Uh, the author, so who the picture was taken by, the author's URL, and a post URL. So on the Unsplash website, this is where you would find this image right here. So file name is actually what we would be wanting to use. But we can, at this point, because we have all of those details right here, we could write out any one of them. So if I wanted the format, If I wanted the width, if I wanted the height, if I wanted the ID, so the number, which one is it? Or post URL and not port URL, post URL. There we go. Now this is what I would want to display. There we go. Here's the information that I would want to display in my HTML, if I were generating HTML from my JavaScript, let's say I don't have image tags that are in my HTML when the page loads, I'm going to be creating them. So if I was building this in a browser, I would be doing something along the lines of, now this won't work in Node, but something along the lines of this. I would say, uh, let's img equal document create element img. And img src is going to be equal to this property right here, or whatever number from the array that you wanted. If you were doing this in a loop, maybe I was going to build 10 images and put them on my page. So we could say for let i equals 0, i is less than 10, i plus plus, simple for loop. There we are this and then document.body.append child and the image. And there we go. That would add 10 images. I'm going to place this with the I to select the first 10 images that came back from that JSON data set that we got right there. All right, great. Hope that helps. Uh, hope you're able to use that at some point if you are looking to test a website loading and displaying images. Just a quick and easy test that you can do. Another great use for the Pixum website. Thanks for watching.